good morning to one and all my name is dr jagadish assistant professor department of ug pg and research center in mathematics government science college at bangalore the program for final year bsc fifth semester bangalore city university today's session is 17 the main topic is multiple integrals that today we, we are discussing about double integral learning objectives what is double integral evaluation of double integral use a double integral to represent the volume of a solid region and properties of double integrals evaluate a double integral as an iterated integral find the average value of a function over a region and examples session outcomes students are able to understand the concepts of definition of double integral and examples pre requisites or basic concepts of analytical geometry basic concepts of differentiation basic concepts of integration and basic properties of integration introduction we know that definite integral over an interval uses a limit process to assign measure to quantities such as area volume arc length and mass a closed curve which does not cross itself is called a simple closed curve example circle ellipse triangle and rectangle and so on a region bounded by a simple closed curve is simply connected region double integrals double integral can be evaluated by expressing it in terms of two single intervals called iterated or repeated integrals that is double integral over region r may be evaluated by two successive integrations if r is defined as f1 of x less than or equal to y less than or equal to f2 of x that is y is in between y1 and y2 and x in between a and b then double integral over r f of x comma y into da equals double integral from a to b y1 to y2 f of x comma y into dy into dx the first method double integral over r f of x comma y into dx into dy equal to double integral from a to b y1 to y2 f of x comma y into dy into dx f of in this case f of x comma y is the first integrated with respect to y treating x as constant between the limits y1 and y2 and then the resulting function is integrating with respect to integrated with respect to x between the limits a and b Se second method double integral over r f of x comma y into dx into dy equals double integral from c to d x1 to x2 f of x comma y into dx into dy in this case the function f of x comma y is integrated with respect to x treating y as constant between the limits x1 and x2 and then the resulting function is integrated with respect to y between c and d third method double integral over f of x comma y into dx into dy equals double integral from a to b a c to d f of x comma y into dx into dy equals double integral from c to d a to b f of x comma y into dy into dx from which it is clear that the order of integration is immaterial for constant limits a note for constant limit it does not matter whether we we first integrate with respect to x and then with respect to y or vice versa example evaluate double integral so from 0 to 2 1 to 2 x square plus y square into dx into dy in solution okay we are 
integrating with respect to x therefore x square is x cube by that is x cube by 3 plus so y square constant into x integration so limit from 1 to 2 into dy replace x by upper limit that is integration from 0 to 2 2 cube is 8 by 3 plus x is 2 2 into y square minus replace x by lower limit that is x equals 1 1 by 3 plus 1 into y square y square into dy further we can simplify 0 to 2 so 2 y square minus y square is y square so 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is 7 by 3 into dy we can integrate y square become y cube by 3 7 by 3 7 by 3 into y limit is 0 to 2 replace upper limit by 2 and lower limit by so that is x by uh, sorry y by upper limit 2 and lower limit y by 0 when x equals 2 2 cube is 8 by 3 x equals to 2 into 7 is 14 by 3 lower limit is 0 so common LCM add the numerator that is 22 by 3 is the answer and next problem evaluate double integral 0 to 1 0 to 1 dx dy by root of 1 minus x square into root 1 minus y square in solution so we can integrate so 1 by root of 1 minus x square with respect to x that is sin inverse x a limit x equals 0 to 1 dy root of 1 minus y square right on as it is so we can replace x by upper limit sin inverse 1 is pi by 2 so sin inverse 0 0 totally pi by 2 into dy by root of 1 minus y square we can integrate pi by 2 constant so 1 by root of 1 minus y square is sin inverse y limit from 0 to 1 replace a y by upper limit and lower limit that is pi by 2 sin inverse 1 is pi by 2 sin inverse 0 is 0 then pi by 2 into pi by 2 is pi square by 4 third problem so evaluate integration from 0 to 1 as the integration of 0 to root of 1 minus y square x cube into y into dx into dy in solution so zero uh, double integral 0 to 1 0 to root of 1 minus y square x cube into y dx into dy equal to so i am integrating with respect to x therefore x cube is x power 4 by 4 y treated as constant replace that is the limit is 0 to root of 1 minus y, y square replace x by upper limit and lower limit so my integration from 0 to 1 so that is upper limit means whole square means a root of 1 minus y square whole power 4 is root of 1 minus y square whole square divided by 4 into y is there so for next step just i am multiplying minus uh, minus and uh, uh, sorry uh, 2 and denominate to multiply and divide by 2 then 2 4 become 8 and inside outside i am just multiply by a minus sign and this is integration you take that root of 1 sorry 1, one minus y square is t and after that substitution we can integrate we get minus 1 by 24 into 1 minus y square the whole cube limit is 0 to 1 so we can replace x by sorry y by upper limit then 1 minus 1 y equals 1 0 lower limit y equals 0 that is 1 minus 0 is 1 1 cube is 1 therefore minus 1 by 24 into minus 1 is 1 by 24 next problem double integral from 0 to 1 so uh, 0 to root of 1 plus x square dy into dx by 1 plus x square plus y square in solution so I am integrating with respect to y therefore I can write this is constant that is so 1 by root of uh, 1 by a square so that is 1 by a plus a square plus x square is 1 by a into tan inverse so x by a by using this formula I am writing this is the 1 plus x square is root of 1 plus x square the whole square that is 1 by a tan inverse x is y by root of 1 plus x square limit is 0 to root of 1 plus x square into dx replace x by upper sorry y by upper limit then it is so uh, get cancel root of 1 plus x square by root of 1 plus x square so that is tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 lower limit is 0 tan inverse 0 0 we get integration from 0 to 1 1 by root of 1 plus x square into pi by 4 into dx 
5 by 4 constant. So this 1 by root of 1 plus x square is that is log of x plus root of x square plus 1 limit from 0 to 1 re plus x by upper limit then it is uh, pi by 4 log of 1 plus so x is 1 means 1 plus 1 is root inside that that is root 2 and lower limit is 0 this can be I can write pi by 4 into sin hyperbolic inverse x limit from 0 to 1 so we can write so re plus x by upper limit that is pi by 4 into sin inverse 1 so lower limit is 0 and session summary students understand the concepts of definition of double integral, evaluation of double integral and examples and multiple choice questions. The value of double integral 0 to sorry 1 to 2, 3 to 4, xy plus e power x into dx into dy the 4 option. The correct answer is option A 21 by 4 plus e power 4 minus e cube. Second problem the value of double integral 0 to 1 x to root x. Uh, x square plus y square into dy into dx is the correct option is answer uh, option b 3 by 20 35 and third problem the value of double integral 0 to pi by 4 0 to pi by 2 sin of x plus y into dx into dy is the option is 1 answer 1 the fourth one question answer is option a and similarly for the fifth question the option and answer is the a 1 by 2 and these are all the references thank you one and all